Now we have the RAM installed. Here's your close up of it. They look great. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Lexar 4 DDR5 desktop memory. Lexar did send me the sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. We have a 32 gigabyte kit here with two 16 gigabyte sticks and our speed is 6,000 mega transfers per second. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. We have both sticks of RAM with Lexar's logo and branding front and center on our heat sinks. I'm liking the design a lot. Look at the attention to detail all along the edges and sides right there with the pattern. Get a feel of it from the top. Other side, you'll see some product info right down there in the corner. Both sticks are gonna be identical to each other. Again, 16 gigabytes capacity, 32 gigabytes total. Now let's go ahead, let's get these installed and try them out. Now we have the RAM installed. Here's your close up of it in our build. They look great. Everything came together really nicely with this build. You'll see the RAM from the other side. Plenty of room in the future. We still have two extra slots. We could add some more RAM in there if we wanted to take this to 64 gigabytes. But the black looks really nicely with the rest of our build. With our RAM installed, we've powered on our computer. We're in the bio settings because you'll see by default, our RAM is showing 4,800 megahertz for its speed. But in this case, we have 6,000 megahertz RAM, and you'll see we have our EXPO Profile 1 right there, all set and ready to go. We haven't touched anything. So for this MSI motherboard, it's as simple as hitting this one option. This is an AMD CPU that we're using in this build, so we're gonna choose the EXPO option right there. But this RAM will work for Intel and AMD. Now we're ready to save our settings, exit out, let it reboot and enjoy those faster speeds. Now with the system rebooted, you'll see that we have our 6,000 megahertz speed. Everything is up and running and working great. Looking at the RAM within Windows in our task manager settings, you'll see that we're currently using about four gigs of RAM, still have almost 27 gigs available and we're showing the proper speeds of 6,000 megahertz. Next in user benchmark, our average was as follows. Bench percent, 173. Multi-core, this is measured in gigabytes per second. It was 62.05. Single core gigabytes per second, 59.35. And latency in nanoseconds, 65.5. Five. I've been using Lexar RAM for years now and haven't had any issues, so time will tell to see how it lasts long term, but so far so good.